It's Dr. Cook back here. We're going to be talking about the schema maneuver graphics, all right, and the graphics to go along with that. Okay, so there's two ways that we can approach doing our graphics for the schema maneuver, right? The first one is just a single operations overlay. That's what it's called. Um, so here's an example of what would go on that without the standard overlay information, right, to show what the operations overlay portion of it is. Um, and we can see that it's a single overlay shows the entire mission from the assembly area through to actions on the objective. The other option is to have a set of phase overlays. Okay, so we have one overlay per phase and each overlay shows the detailed portion for that phase and that phase only. And we can go through the set of them uh, in sequence to understand how the mission develops. If we overlaid them all together, it would look something like an operations overlay uh, if they were all put together. Uh, so here's just an example. If we broke them out by phase, this would be our phase two movement. We can see we've got some friendly troops uh, coming down in the upper right uh, showing where they're all laid out. And then we have another overlay here showing phase three isolation portion with where they're all moving, where units will end up as that portion of the mission unfolds. And then phase four, the actual attack on the objective. Uh, we have the unit icons shown where they will be, our key weapon systems, and the tactical tasks that are happening during this portion of the mission. All right. And then we can show phase five, the transition afterwards, uh, where our units are, how our key weapons will orient after the actions on the objective are complete. They're gonna reorient to pull security um, and show that setup. All right, so let's talk about uh, going through some details of each of these phases, but I'm going to use an, a single operations overlay to give the example. So this is a single overlay that shows the entire mission. All right, and in here you can see each of the phases. So I've kind of highlighted where those happen, and uh, we can walk through all of that. Now, the preparation phase obviously was just in the assembly area, and then we moved to phase two, movement towards the objective. I'm highlighting that here and the things that need to be shown. Now, we wanna make sure we have control measures on here in black, like the LD. What checkpoints do we have along the way? Uh, places we wanna make sure we hit for grid coordinates and we get to the right spot. Maybe something has to happen there, like making a report, letting our higher commander know, we're gonna stop and take a break, change our shoes, whatever. We can use those checkpoints. Um, we wanna make sure uh, that when we get to the ORP, what's going on with, our location for the security, where is it? Right, in this case, it was kind of a rally point that they showed instead of an ORP, you can see or, or ORP is shown there. All right, we're showing our route, all right? There's a primary and solid, and then we've got an alternate route. So if something goes wrong, what other way can we get to where we're going? Um, checkpoints along the way, locations of leaders uh, should be shown in the graphic there. And you'll note that these units are showing the order of march. All right, what you, third squad goes first, first squad is gonna be last. All right, and how those all develop so we know what we're doing. Um, as you brief this, we don't necessarily show it on the graphic, but when we brief it, we talk about the movement formations we're gonna use, what techniques we'll use to get there, how long it might take us to get there, fire control measures, and what to do with contingencies or things we talk when we give our oral briefing. All right, which could take us to uh, the third phase with set conditions. Here I've kind of highlighted the portions of the graphic that go along with that, showing where our squads go for our support by fire and our movement up to our assault position. Now, when we plan this, we have to think about that. How are we gonna get to the assault position? Where does that go? What is that route? Uh, how are we gonna isolate the objective using direct fire and indirect fire so that the enemy can't reinforce itself or withdraw? Where are our key leaders? Again, all of our contingency plans. Um, are going to go on there. Which brings us to phase four, our actions on the objective. And I've kind of highlighted that here. You can see we've got some phase lines to control how our units move across the objective towards the uh, limit of advance. We've also got some fire control measures on there with our target reference points. Um, we've shown tactical tasks for those two units. So second squad is breaching, first squad is clearing, first squad is the decisive effort. That's shown. Uh, we want to be able to show all of this information graphically, all right? 
All right, we have to make sure that we prevent fratricide, right? So we can use some control measures for that, right? We've got to control our direct fire, right? So we have given some targeting reference points on here to show our two support by fire positions, where their left and right limits are, right? And then we can hit our shift fire, all right? And we can use those again to give left and right limits uh, to our support by fire positions while our breach goes on. And we make sure we employ breach fundamentals. We want to breach that. Right? And then finally, we can lift fire during the assault phase uh, and again, use our direct fire control measures to show our support by fire where they're going to place their fires to prevent fratricide. All right, now we get down to phase five, consolidation. All right, key planning things there is how are we going to consolidate? What are we going to do to secure the objective and defend against counterattack or give ourselves some security while we police up the area and do what we got to do afterwards? All right, and then how are we going to reorganize All right, to be prepared for the follow-on mission? What are we going to do? All right, that can be shown here too. All right, there are some notes on this slide. I'm not going to read them all to you because you're all capable of reading. Um, to help guide you in what you need to think about as you're planning these portions of the mission. All right, and then here are some more on this slide. Uh, once again, you can read them yourself um, to give you some ideas of how we go through and plan our missions out. All right, so that's how we put together our graphics and then use them to help us brief uh, what's going on, tied together with all the planning we did for the details phase by phase in the scheme maneuver as we create our operations overlay. See you in class.